Hi, my name is Nat Hopking and we are in Victoria Warehouse Manchester today on tour with Mabel with the Midas HD96. The tour has been running for a couple of weeks now. We started in Dublin on the 27th of, uh, of Jan and we're running through till March the 8th. It's kind of coming down through the country, finishing off in London a week or so off and then we're off to Europe. A friend of mine knew some guys from, from Midas head office um, and when I, when I heard it was a possibility to maybe even come and look at one, um, he put me in contact uh, with Midas and literally within a day they got back to me and said, yeah, if you'd like to come have a look at one, possibly use one on the tour, that'd be great. And uh, this was on Friday and then on Sunday, on everyone else's day off, uh, Max from Midas came and met me, um, opened up the office for me and um, we came in, had a look. Uh, I fiddled around with it for probably half an hour and was like, yeah, I'll deal, I'll take one. My first impression was how visually stunning it is to, to look at, especially this screen is just, I don't know how it translates on camera, but when you stood in front of it, it's, it's amazing. Um, and the first thing was like, wow, it was so fresh and new. I was like, I'm never gonna know how to use this. But actually when you dig into it, um, a lot of your old school, if you're a Midas, a lot of your old school workflows are still kind of in there. Um, the way you sort of, you know, use pop groups and things, they're all there, but it's kind of got this fresh facelift and, and the, the, the software is really intuitive and, and, and lovely to use. So I've used my Midas a lot but not always stayed faithful. Um, I've, I've been using the S6L quite a bit lately. Um, purely in, on this kind of touring circuit and this, this kind of genre, if you like, there's a lot, it's high, always high channel count, a lot of stereo stuff, um, which this now tackles brilliantly. It will sell itself on the fact that people will, like I did, look at it and think this is complicated, but actually when you, it, it's not. When we went into production rehearsals for this before Christmas, sorry, band rehearsals, I couldn't make the first day, so I sent Casper uh, Jelek down to set it up for me, big up Casper. Um, he'd never even seen one or touched one before, and within an hour, he got it tipped up, working, patched in, and was setting up a show covering for me and got the band going and doing rehearsals, and, you know, one or two phone calls just to say, how do I do this? And For me personally, I think it's great for, do, for doing monitors. Pro 2, Pro X I've also had on, on monitors, but for this is great, especially, especially having the, the way the auxiliaries now work on this. There's different modes, different things you can do. Um, have, having, you know, st stereo ear mixes are, are on, on one fader. So I've got, you know, eight, eight ear mixes there straight away. Um, the fact that you've got this big screen, you know, is, there's a lot of information in front of you. Um, and so you can kind of go from looking at your, looking at your artist to the screen and, and back and not having to be no, no, nose deep in the console, which is, which is handy. Shout mix features all right, you know. Um, I, didn't, I didn't start using it because I couldn't be bothered to work it out, if I'm honest. But actually I thought, no, I'm going to give it a go. And it's, it's, it's a doddle. And yeah, being able to, being able to Especially in, a, in, an, in an ears environment, one of the first things is to get the communication up and running so everybody can hear each other. And punching your ins and, and, and outs on, on, the, on the shout mixer page. Um, I mean, this isn't a massive, there's not a, a massive amount of personnel on this. The, the band's relatively small. But having, having everybody here and everybody's outputs there and being able to, to mix that and adjust levels quickly and have different presets saved is, is, is great. It's a, it's a really good feature, that, and I, and, and I, think, uh, I think people are going to like it. I tend to operate uh, inputs and pop groups here, um, outputs there. Uh, I don't really do processing on my, on my outputs. It's just not something I re really do. Um, we spent a lot, of time, a lot of time getting it right at source uh, with, with Ashton Miranda, our MD. Um, so that when it comes into me, coupled up with how great it sounds, um, I don't know, do very little to individual channels, but thing, things for her, like her vocal, some, some, some of the onboard plugins in this console are just 
just amazing what you get, you know, what you're going to get for your money, considering how much I've spent on plugins that, you know, thousands. But the, things like this are comp. Whoever made these in your office deserves a pay rise because that sounds great. Has it improved in terms of from, let's say, a Pro X, for example? Um, I, at the moment, it's hard for me to tell because it's always sounded so good. Um, and I think in this day and age, consoles sounding good is kind of a, a, a given now. I've, I've not needed a Midas product to sound any better. Possibly one or two reverbs, but now with the, one, the, the ones that have come out with this, the VSS4 and stuff, it, sound, it, 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 it sounds great. I've never needed it to sound better. It's, it's, it sounds incredibly stable when, when there's, a lot, when there's a, a lot of sonic energy going through it. It, it doesn't start to get gnarly. It, de it deals with information very well. It just sounds as good as you'd expect it to. Being, being able to react quickly to a, a request, um, especially with the, with the flip and pop group thing, has always been quick. So if someone's, if someone's waving at me going, I want this, that and the other, which they never do because the mix is always spot on. But uh, <laughs> I literally flip mode, drums, a little bit more kick, come back out, flip, home, and it's done. Way much quicker. I have Mancino things great. Uh, weird name, great concept. Uh, it's, I, in fact, I used it yesterday. I used it initially to set the board up because you can sort of select everything, put everything at zero, post everything, pre everything, whatever you want to do. But I used it yesterday. Playback tech was wanted, we were on a smaller stage yesterday, he wanted less drums, Just selected all the drums, um, set his mix and brought it down, come out. It's a really good feature, that. The effects and plugins thing, uh, you've, you've, you've done really well because even on this, I've not, I've not had a chance to use everything because there's so much choice. Um, what I say would probably be my, my favourite ones that are on here so far. I really like this little badger, the R comp. It's, 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 just, it's just, a, just, just great for vocals. Um, this is cool. Don't know where you got the name or design for that from, but uh, it's great. Um, reverb, I kind of, everyone was talking about the VSS4 being on this. That's exactly what I've used. Um, just as a bit of a, as a reverb on her vocal. We only run two reverbs on this show, a bit for the drums, which no one really has. Um, and then reverb for her vocal, which is used um, throughout the show. But yeah, it's great, plugins are great. I'm using sort of channel gate, channel gates and bits of, com bits of compression on, and the inputs, but nothing, nothing major. I think the plugin, the plugin racks are gonna, be, are gonna be fantastic for people using this on front of house more. I tried to keep things quite relatively simple um, for, for, for monitors, but the, what, you can, what you can get on those, on those racks is going to be, people are going to, people are going to love it. It's going to be really good. I flip between the two. I've not quite found my home yet. Um, do, doing EQ, I tend to do over here. It just feels natural to use a, to use a, a rotary, but the screen works great. I use the one pot shot stuff a lot. Um, during the show, I'll drag and drop certain things that I want to access all the time. But the one thing I've been using quite a bit is the audition mode on the, on the EQ, especially in tighter venues when you're trying to di sort of dig, dig stuff out or cut stuff, it works well. You can be really aggressive with your sweeps so you can hear. And then being able to update that in real time, it's really good.